hello everyone hello everyone how are you guys doing welcome back to my channel this is sarah david if today is your first time of coming across this channel you are highly welcome and may the lord bless you please don't forget to hit on the like button share the video to your friends and family so if you are if you have been watching the the channel so i say may the lord bless you if you have been there to support i say may the lord bless you and also i have a we have a youtube channel sarah david tv please guys if you have not subscribed to our channel kindly do so hit on the subscribe button and put on the bell so that whenever we drop a video you will be notified so today guys we are making stew just a quick one so i am going to make stew today nigeria delicious stew so guys i'm here to to introduce all the ingredients which i will be using one after the other so here my people i have shaki which is already prepared because i don't want to stay too long on the video shaki this is ring cow ring and cow shaki I have dry fish. I don't really know the name of this fish, but it's very, very sweet. So I love the fish for that. So I have two hot pepper and you can add pepper depending on your choice. Add pepper to your choice. So I have momo, which is cow leg. So I have makra, which I have washed and cut the makra into four pieces. I have my ebibaye fish. This is cow leg also. So I just brought out the flesh from the cow leg. So this is the cow leg also. I cook it very well. Even a newborn, a newborn baby can eat out of it. So guys, this is the momo. So the two, they are the same. So, and I have two big onions, which I will be chopping one, blend it with a hot pepper. And these are my spices, okay? You can make use of any spices of your choice so this i have curry i have onga i have maggi powder i have chicken spices and i have tasty spice and have a pinch of salt and this is the meat stock which i take out from the meat so everything is well prepared everything is well washed so guys let's go straight to the preparation come with me let's get started so this is the pot so i forgot to introduce my oil vegetable oil so i will add the oil inside the pot so guys i will just go ahead and start frying the fish so we are going to fry the fish gently gently So let's check, check out the fish. Yeah, yeah. The fish is dry. I take them out now. So the fish make an attempt to burn. But I couldn't allow that. So I'll add in my chopped onions. After adding the chopped onions, I blend out some of the onions with the, with the hot pepper. I will just transfer it inside the oil. Yeah. So we stir together. The, the fry and onions and pepper I'll be cooking for three minutes. So guys, I'm sorry I didn't introduce the tomatoes with, which I will be using. This is the tomatoes, guys. I forgot to introduce the tomatoes. So the time I supposed to make this stew, I wasn't chance. So I blend the tomatoes and steam it with a red bell pepper. I steam it, then I just keep it in my freezer. So I just brought them out this morning. So this is it. I forgot to bring it out. So I will be transferring the tomatoes and the pepper. As you can see, the tomatoes still have some block. So I will just transfer everything together inside. Then I will stir together. So now I start, I check on the sauce. This is the sauce. So I will... I will stir together so I didn't add any water so the tomatoes have meant already now I will add the meat stock so I will add it so I will stir together so we are still going to add more water 
So I will stir and add all the ingredients. So stir it and cover it for five minutes and we are coming back to add the rest of the ingredients. Stay tuned. Let's check on it again. This is it. So I will give it a stir. And I will add the dry fish. A stir. We are going to add water, so but not now. So we stir. After stirring, then I am going to add my shaki. I will add a cow leg. The I don't know the flesh. No, yeah, the flesh of the cow leg. So why this is the skin of the cow leg and this is the rings. So we are going to stir everything together to know if we, if I need more water. Yes, we need some water. Add water and stir it again. So we are going to cover it now. Give three minutes to cook. So let's check on the stew. Yes, this is it. This is it. Now we are going to stir the stew. So we are ready to go. We are ready to go. So as you are pausing your camera, for the stew to simmer, make sure you stir the stew often and often so that the dough will not get burnt. So guys, let me test all the ingredients inside the stew. We are good to go. I am good to go. The last I am going to add my dry fish. So you can use this stew, you can use stew like this to eat anything of your choice, like I mean, yam, yam, plantain, fried plantain. And also, you can also add the stew to any pepper soup, soup which you make, like okra pepper soup, a greasy pepper soup, black soup, and in fact, you can use this too for oilless beans. Okay, so guys, this is all about the video. Please make sure you put on my the bell, so my bell, so that whenever I drop a video, you will be notified. This is Sarah David. Thank you all for watching. I love you all, but God loves you more. Bye. Once again